Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB The Show 17. So we just completed the last part of this Nelson Cruz program. The last thing we needed to do was get 33 home runs with breakout series players. So along with that, we get 5,000 XP, 500 stubs, and 50 tickets. But now we are finally done with the Nelson Cruz program. So the rewards for this program, we got ourselves a few program packs and I will show you some in this video. We got ourselves the Rangers flashback, which is Ian Desmond. And then we got some more XP and stubs that we were able to redeem right here. And then another program pack. So I think altogether, we're gonna have three program packs to open up. And then finally, the breakout flashback, Nelson Cruz at 85 overall from 2009 so an interesting card right there we will check out the stats for that one also but the best thing about this is it gets us one step closer to that breakout eddie matthews so we got one more breakout player here i need like eight more breakout series players to get that done but looking at these missions the first one which is the last one we finished but it's to get 33 home runs with breakout series players i did a majority of this in events i think i got 25 of them in the last event, the Advantage Hitters event. And then the rest we did in ranked seasons, but there's a lot of quality breakout series players out there, which makes it easy to complete. It just takes time to get 33 home runs. Next, we got the speedy right fielders, and this is to get 20 stolen bases with right fielders. So this one's pretty easy. You can do it against the CPU on rookie, I believe, and just get a full team of right fielders, put them in their secondary position. It takes two or three games to get 20 stolen bases. Next, we have breakout runs times three. So this one's not bad if you have a lot of breakout series players already on your team. I didn't realize when I got this one because I wasn't going after it. I was trying to get the home runs and we eventually just got it from playing the game. So you gotta do this one online. But if you have a few breakout series players on your team already, this one will just come to you. Next, we got the April 15, 2009 stat line, which is to get a home run, six RBIs, and a walk with any Texas Rangers players. So if you see the one below, you got to collect 25 Rangers. Just use those 25 Rangers, put them in your lineup, and use a whole team of Rangers players. This one is fairly easy. If you got six runs, you probably got six RBIs. You can do this on rookie. The hardest thing is probably getting that walk, but overall, it's not bad. Then we got to collect 25 Rangers, self-explanatory. Get 25 Rangers. You can get the cheapest ones and you'll be fine. And then we have Rangers Epic 2. So there's a couple parts to this. The first one is you have to collect 15 Rangers to get the card. But before that, you have to complete Rangers Epic 1, which is to beat the Rangers twice on rookie difficulty in play versus CPU game. So that's not difficult. And if you haven't done it already, you can do it while doing the rest of these missions. And then Epic 2 is to use that Nelson Cruz card that you get and tally eight hits with him. Pretty simple. And then the final part is to exchange right fielders. Now, I don't remember the value, but just get 79 rated right fielders and exchange them. So in addition to that, we got this unlocked in the Dynasty program, the breakout program, obviously. So we got 1,000 XP, 50 stubs, and five tickets for that. And that puts us at 21% in the Dynasty program. So this is where we got our other two program packs that we're gonna be able to open. So these contain four players with an increased chance to find legends and flashbacks. Items cannot be sold. So we already knew that. Don't really get anything good in these ever. So in the first pack, we're going to get ourselves nothing good. A few bronze players in Reddick and Erlen, but that's not going to do us any good. The second pack, and we are going to get nothing good again. We got Alonzo, which is a bronze, Jaso, and Jimenez. So three bronze in this pack. I guess that's not bad, but obviously we want to at least get a gold player or a diamond player and in the final pack we're gonna get Hanson a common player Park and Cuthbert so three more bronze players nothing good overall in these three program packs I will say this though I have gotten a Carlos Correa in one of these and a Justin Verlander so I've gotten two golds but we need more we need more golds or diamonds in the future and then the last thing we got is the player stats so Ian Desmond an 83 overall all-star version from 2016 has 66 contact versus righties, 97 versus lefties, 59 power versus righties, and 63 versus lefties, 42 vision, 79 fielding, 88 arm strength, and 75 speed. So this card is an outfielder, play center field, left field, right field, you know what it is. But overall, this card, there's nothing much to offer. 97 contact versus lefties is nice, but besides that, this card, it's not really useful. 
The only time I see myself using this is during the All-Star program, and that's if there's not better options out there by the time that program rolls out. But overall, there's nothing much to this card. And then the main reward, the Nelson Cruz 85 overall breakout series from 2009, has 66 contact versus righties, 50 versus lefties, 97 power versus righties, and 75 versus lefties, 45 vision, 64 fielding, 91 arm strength, and 69 speed. So overall, this card, really not that great either. Has the nice power versus righties, and that's about it. The vision's low, so really the only time I would use this card is maybe an event if there's restrictions like that. But this card also does have a player spotlight mission where you have to get two home runs and four RBIs with it. I don't know what the reward is because it won't show up for me. If it's like the other programs, it should be a baseball is flashback pack. So let me know if you've already done it. But overall, let me know what you guys thought about this program if you're still working on it or not and if you have any questions leave a comment but thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'm out